All right, so we have already done these first three examples, factoring by finding greatest common factor. Uh, just note that this is recorded. If you want to be a part of the recording, raise your hand and participate. Um, if not, and I will take uh, questions whenever we are finished. Uh, okay, take a look at letter D. We're talking about greatest common factor. Okay. For the sake of this video, I'm going to reiterate that you can actually break all of this apart into its lowest factors or things that they have in common. For instance, 4 and 16 have what number in common? 4. So really this is 4 y y y minus 4 times 4 y y y y. Look at what they have in common. Uh, they each have a four. They each have three y's. So that'll go on the outside. That's what I'm taking out. Now look, if I took the whole entire thing out from the very first one, I took a four and all three y's, I have nothing left. I need something called a placeholder. That placeholder number that we use in math, it's called one. So 1 minus 4y. So then we put this back into math terms. 3y's is 4y cubed. And 1 minus 4y. We're going to do one more of these. I want to give, uh, give you a minute. Take a look at this. See if we can kind of skip that one step. Find out what they have in common. What do 6, 15, and 9 have in common? 3. Thank you, sir. So 3. So we're going to take a 3 out. What else do each of these have in common? Yep. A P. Okay, so 3P. So watch this. 6 and 3. If I take a 3 out of 6, what do I have left? Multiplying. We're using multiplication. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay. Remember, because 2 times 3 will give us that 6. The P was taken out. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And I took 1 P out, so I have to leave at least 1 there. 9 divided by 3 is 3. I took out the P. I've got to leave the Q. Done. Same exact thing as if we tore it all apart. Okay. Same exact thing as if we made this 2 times 3P plus 3 times 5PP minus 3 times 3PQ. We took out a 3P, a 3P, a 3P, and look what's left. Okay. So there's how we uh, there's how we factor using greatest common factor. Uh, we're going to skip the try this. We're going to talk about a polynomial that has a common factor that is a binomial. So there's another example where we actually have something that we could uh, factor out all together where they have the same two numbers inside. So think of it as where we used to have, maybe in this case, we used to have an A and here was an A. Now we have two numbers and because they share the same exact thing, we can actually factor it out to the front with the parenthesis and everything. Okay, that's the part that's in green. And then what we'll leave then in another parenthesis is what's left over. And I will shade that in shade that in blue for you. R and S give us the R plus S. We can only do this when the same when everything in the parentheses is the same. Take a look at letter B. B plus four, B plus four. So I can pull that out front. It's what they have in common. Then what they have left over is A plus C.
Take a look at these. They have something kind of in common, but not in common enough. If you look, three, the first three have an X, the last one doesn't. Um, so what we can do is something called factor by grouping. Factor by grouping is whenever we take the first two terms and group them together, take the last two terms and group them together, and try and pull out a common factor from each. So for instance, in my first group, I have X, X plus X. I'm bringing this down to its simplest form. In my other group, I have uh, 2x plus 2. These both share an x, so I'm going to pull that out front. I'll then be left with x plus 1. These both share a plus 2. I'm going to bring that plus 2 out front. And then I'll also be left with x plus 1. They have that placeholder whenever I take everything out front. Next, I need to look at if they have the same in common. It's the same exact step that I did up here in letter A. So then I can write that out front in green. And then uh, x plus 2 goes for your other part. I'm going to stop there with what we're doing today. Uh, you, that's kind of like a special case. You see them every once in a while, but you don't see them too frequently.